In this video, we will talk you through the verification process. This is the process where you as club welfare officer check the applicant's details and their identity documents. Before attending the verification meeting with the applicant, sign into the online disclosure site. Select the awaiting verification tab found across the top of the screen. You can then search for your applicant using the search function or by selecting them from the list. If the applicant's name is not showing, they may not be ready to meet with you. If this is the case, you should contact them and try and find out why there is a delay. Keep a close eye on applications and don't let them drift, as making sure CRC checks are up to date is an important part of your role in safeguarding children. If the form is showing as ready, check that the applicant has brought the identification listed on their screen. They will have chosen this themselves as part of their application. If they've got the correct documents, select yes. If they've brought different identity documents, select no, and then select the documents that they have brought with them. You should enter the identification details as requested for each particular ID and click accept. You must check that the personal details on screen match those on the ID provided by your applicant. It's important to make sure you see the documents listed. It's only by being sure that you have seen the documents that the police will be able to get an identity match and check the correct records. Never say you have seen something if you haven't. If you spot a mistake in the applicant's personal details during verification, then the application should be rejected. Select Reject Application from the top right-hand corner, then choose Personal Details Incorrect from the drop-down list. Below, enter the reason the application has been rejected, so your applicant can go away and fix the mistake. Try and avoid rejecting for insufficient ID, as you have an opportunity to make changes to the ID before starting the verification meeting. Please remember an important part of your role is to make sure you see the documents listed and that the information submitted is correct. If you reject the application, it will return to the applicant where they can rectify the mistake and then resubmit their application. As part of the verification, you will have to select the position that best suits your applicant. Choose from the drop-down list the relevant position. This will then automatically fill in the default settings for this role. The default for most grassroots football is volunteer. If the applicant is not a volunteer, the applicant's volunteer status must be changed by clicking edit. Once you're confident the verification is complete, you can submit the application to be processed. The system will then take you through a payment process. You should select pay later, which completes your role as verifier and the applicant can then log back in and pay. Once the application has been paid for, it is submitted and you then need to wait for the check to be processed and the CRC check sent out to the applicant. Some CLC checks are returned very quickly, others can take several weeks. This doesn't mean there is a problem, it's just that some checks can take longer than others. The CRC, sometimes called a disclosure, is not a certificate that says someone is suitable to volunteer or work with children. It is only a record of police information and a check of the borrowing lists. When you see the word complete on your online disclosure system, it does not mean the person is suitable to work with children. It only means the check has been printed. Never rely on this to mean a volunteer is accepted and ready to work with children. After the check has been printed, the FA then makes the decision on the person's suitability to work or volunteer with children. Watch video 4 to see this final stage. 